I'm Elizabeth Hamlet. I'm the author of a book on preparing students with disabilities for a successful college transition. People ask me all the time, when can a student who's in high school who has a disability contact a college's disability services office? The answer is any time that they want. Um, there seems to be this rumor or this myth that when students with disabilities contact disability services offices, those offices will take their name down, put it on some kind of list, and that admissions offices are interested in these lists because um, they want to exclude students with disabilities, which um, is not the case. Read step six of my book. Um, but also it's really important and college disability services offices want students to call them because they want them to ask questions and make sure that the school is going to be a good fit for them, at least on the point of disability services. Now be aware that many of these offices don't have the staffing to do a full review of a student's requests. So when a student contacts the office, they can ask some general questions about accommodations that are commonly approved and maybe some that are not if they're interested in that. Um, but they should probably not expect the college to be able to tell them specifically whether they will get the accommodations that they are seeking. Um, that is a decision that would be made after the Disability Services Office staff reviews the student's request, reviews their documentation, which is a fancy word for paperwork that indicates you know, that the student has a disability, what the history is, all sorts of things. And you can look those documentation requirements up online for every college. Um, but importantly, they can at least get a general sense of it. As I said, often colleges don't have the chance to do that review just because of staffing until a student, in some cases, has been accepted. They may have the opportunity to do that and the, and the staffing to allow for that. They may not be able to do it, though, sometimes until after a student has enrolled. So it's not that they don't want to be able to give those answers to students. They just don't simply have the staffing. Um, so what does this mean for all sorts of high school students? If students are in their college search phase, they can call up and ask those questions. If they are going to be visiting a campus, they should plan ahead and ask for a meeting. Um, not always um, are the staffers going to be available to do a drop-in meeting, but they're often going to be um, interested in at least trying to set up a Zoom if they can't do it while the student is on campus. Um, for students who have been accepted to colleges, and are now in the process of making that decision. If they haven't done that uh, kind of research already, it's a great time to do that. Um, another rumor I hear all the time is that a school might rescind a student's um, acceptance once they uh, hear about the student's disability. That is not something to worry about either. So contact those offices, ask your questions, and be as informed um, a customer, if you will, as you can be. I promise you those folks are there to answer your questions and make sure that you're going to have a great fit. I hope it's helpful.